¿Para qué? ¿Cómo se llama? Paseo de Carmen. ¿Paseo de Carmen? ¿Y qué hay aquí? Pues aquí hay festivales, hay bares, hay clubs, eh, ventas de comida, de lo que sea. Y todo un poco, ¿eh? A ver, chucherías también. ¿Qué es eso, chucherías? Comida callejera. All right, so she's pretty much saying street food, there's bars, there's food. There's a little bit of everything over here. Corn dogs. For real, they got pizza, corn dogs, pupusas, whatever you want. So, if you guys are wondering what it's called, it's a Paseo de Carmen and Santa Tecla. If you guys are wondering, Paseo de Carmen and Santa Tecla. This is pretty cool. I don't think I ever seen this place on YouTube or anything like that. So, hopefully, I'm the first to show you guys this cool ass spot over here, showing you guys around, having a good old time. Sucks that I have to leave. I, uh, I only had a couple days. Yeah, I'll probably be coming back soon because there's a lot of places that I have not explored yet that I definitely want to explore. So I guess this is the shopping side of town. Look at this. If you guys want to buy stuff, here's a spot. Man, look how cool that spot looks. When we walk back, we'll check them out. This is a cool spot, huh? What do you think? What do you think about this spot, Landon? Liking it? So I guess one side of this place is like food, bars, clubs, and then like the other side is where you could just buy random stuff. And this spot is big, it's super long. It's like four or five blocks long. This is crazy. That thing might get my grace this year. Ken. Ken va a regañar. Hola, buenas noches. Look at all this Salvadorian cool stuff that you guys can buy. ¿Cómo se llama la tienda? Coscar. Coscar? ¿Y dónde dónde está este lugar? Pasado Ricardo. If you guys want to come over here, look at all the nice stuff they guys have. Look at all these cool shirts they got. Tic Tac is usually like a Salvadorian drink. It's, I think it's kind of like vodka. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. And if you know, from what I heard, it's like a Salvadorian drink. But let me know down below if you know if it's in the other Central American countries. Gracias. So yeah, guys, I'm here in El Salvador. I'm happy to be here back home where my family's from. I know a lot of you guys probably think I was born over here, but I wasn't. I was born in Los Angeles. And um, I love coming over here. I definitely do. 
and I, lo I love to explore it. Hopefully I can come back pretty soon. But if you guys want to come out here, trust me, super safe, super nice. Like I've never felt like in danger or anything like that. So I definitely recommend coming out here. And wow, look at that church, super nice. You guys want some bread? You got the bread over here too? Let's check out the bread, see what it looks like. Oh, some donuts, donuts. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. What you get your mom, what you get your mom? Oh, you got the other ones, huh? Oh, I got the light on, let me turn, that's all right. Where did everyone go? It's all right, they're over there. They're on that side. Let's walk this way, let's check it out. Bunch of cool ass clubs over here. Look at that spot up there. Man, that spot looks cool. What is that? Can I get a crate? Yeah, you get whatever you want. You don't have to ask me, you just say, Bob, I want one, that's it. Huh? You want one? Hola. What do you want? Uh. That girl sounds drunk. <laughs> I don't think I'll be singing. She's in her happy moment. Uh, yeah, at least she's feeling good. <laughs> it's called Castillo de Crips. If you guys want to come over here, support the local vendors. You got your pupusas over here. So right now we're gonna go check out this pupusa loca, which is supposed to be like super huge. Let's go check it out. They keep saying that like it's super good for four bucks. We'll check it out, and then you guys tell me if it looks good or not. I wonder if this is a spot where they got the pupusa loca. So I guess they make pupusa locas right here where they're super huge. It's called Pupusiria Maria Jose. This is how they make them by hand. Look at these lovely ladies cooking them. I'll get back to you guys when they start making the big one. Alright guys, here's the big pupusa loca. That's the normal size. And now this is the huge one. But uh, yeah, look at the difference. Wow. Look how big that is. That's crazy. Landon, what are your thoughts on it? I'm gonna eat it. You gonna eat it? <laughs> look how big they are. That is crazy. I never seen a pupusa this big. I don't even know. If you guys seen a big pupusa like this or a bigger one, put it in the comments below. Let me know.
All right, so we're asking him how he, how does he know which one's which? Cause they are different kinds. So they're saying they put like their fingerprints on them for like the cheese ones, the ones that have pork, the ones that have beans. So that's how they do it. Cause I was wondering since there's a bunch of them, how do they know which one's which? And that's how they flip them over. <laughs> that's crazy. Man, they look so good. I saw it. Yeah. Gracias. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video right here because I'm gonna go enjoy myself. I'm gonna walk back over there. There's a lot of music playing, so I don't wanna get copyrighted. I wanna enjoy myself. I'm gonna enjoy the night. I already showed you guys a little bit of it. So if you guys wanna come, definitely do it. I'll get back to you in the next video.